Hey everyone, my name is Tariq Brown and I am a developer on the C slash C++ extension for VS Code at Microsoft. And today we are re-recording our tutorial on how to install C Sharp, just because the recording last time was very low quality. And so yeah, we'll get started. The very first thing we want to do to go ahead and get C Sharp going is we want to install the .NET SDK. A link to this website will be in the description. But we'll go over here, we'll hit download, and get the .exe file, open it, and as you can see here, I've already installed it, but what you're going to do is you're just going to go through the steps and install, it's just a matter of clicking next, next, install until it finishes installing. Once you've gone through that setup, you're going to check if it installed correctly by opening up the command prompt and you'll type in .NET. So once you've gone through the installation instructions correctly and you've verified that that's installed correctly, we'll go on to the next step, which is just going over to Visual Studio Code. First you want to make sure you have the extension installed. You want to install this extension because this is the official Microsoft extension. This is the one that's updated regularly and you can file issues within the repository and the C-Sharp team takes a look at these regularly. I would also recommend getting the C-Sharp snippets extension and the C-Sharp extensions extension uh, just to help with your code flow. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to open up a terminal and we're going to type in .NET console. This will create a template project for us and as you can see here we got hello world and then the next thing we will do is we will type in .NET restore to make sure everything is built correctly and then we will just type .NET run. And that is how you get started with C-Sharp and Visual Studio Code. Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe and comment. Let me know what you want to see next. Peace.